is End Screen Noise. My name is Colin Dixon, founder and chief analyst at End Screen Media, and today is July 10th, 2015. This week's episode is called The Shock in the Not So Shocking News, and I have three items for you uh, that may be not so shocking, but there is something shocking in them. The first up is Netflix. Ad firm Alfonso says that Netflix now ranks as the number third broadcaster of TV content in the US. It says it accounted for 28% of domestic TV viewing in the first half of 2015, and that the other main SVOD providers, Amazon, Hulu, etc., accounted for about 17% for a grand total of 35%. Now, this is not so surprising, bearing in mind that the 60 million Netflix users are watching about two hours a day with the service. And remember, they're watching that all with just Netflix. The rest of their viewing is spread out across many, many other channels. So it's not so surprising that it would be so, be so popular, even when you average it out across the entire population. So what's shocking? Well, pay, VO, pay TV VOD accounts for just 2% of domestic TV viewing just 2%. And that's after being in market 15 years and providing much of the same content that Netflix provides. And oh boy, that's not very good performance when you think about it. And it certainly goes to show the power of SVOD, OTT SVOD that is, uh, in delivering television content. Next up is the television viewing by kids. And a new report from Minor & Co Studios says that in those households where kids have access to a tablet or a smartphone, they prefer it to a television. 57% of parents said that kids prefer to watch on those handheld device devices rather than TV. Well, this is not so shocking, particularly if you've been paying attention to Nielsen numbers. Nielsen says that viewing in the 2 through 11 year old range is down 7.6% between Q4 2013 and Q4 2014. So it is sinking fast and we expect to see that continue into 2015 and beyond. So what's shocking? Well, what's shocking is nearly half of those parents said that they were confiscating the device and making the kids watch regular television as a punishment. And the kids absolutely hate it. One kid said, TV sucks. Now, if you're a TV provider, man, this is probably not very good news for you at all. Uh, they also went on to say that 41% of parents said that their kids would rather watch video on their device than have a snack. What are they offering these kids? Broccoli for their snacks? Break out those Cheerios or something a little bit more appetizing for those kids. Well, finally, Popcorn Flix says that their app now has been downloaded 15 million times. And that's up 50% from the beginning of the year. Now, Popcorn Flip Flix provides ad-supported free video online to many connected devices. Uh, and most of it is very li is library, movie, and uh, television stuff. Very, really quite old. So uh, David Fannin, EVP of Popcorn Flix, however, was a bullion. He said, this proves that ad-supported models work. I guess he means online. Uh, well, there's no shock there. Uh, in a survey earlier this year, Deloitte found that 62% of SVOD subscribers, SVOD of course is, is mostly ad-free these days, said that they would watch ads to save a couple of bucks on their subscription. And 73% of them said that they really appreciated watching without advertising. So it really shows that advertising is still a great model. So what's shocking here? What's shocking is that not more TV providers are trying ad-supported free online. Most of them are queuing up to do subscription VOD. Very few are trying ad-supported direct to free to consumers. Now, this has worked very, very well for 80 years in television, and I've got a feeling it's going to work just as well online too. 
And if some of those TV providers do, do try to give ad-supported free online a try, you can bet you'll hear about it first here on End Screen Noise. We'll see you again next time.